Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here? And what we have here, you can multiply this directly x times x, same thing as x square. Then over 3 times 3, we have 3 square. Then equals to also here 3 times 3, that's same thing as 3 squared over x times x, which is x squared. The next step here, you can cross multiply, and we have x squared times x square then equals to also 3 square times 3 square then also we have same thing multiplying just like a times a which is equals to a square that is yeah also we can write this as a square then a square which is equals to also here we have 3 square or square the next step here you can take this side to the left hand side and this becomes x square all square minus 3 square all square then equals to 0 from here now and this follows from difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square this same thing as a plus b into brackets then open brackets a minus b as this here we can express this and we have a standing as x square then b standing as 3 square and what we have now becomes x square plus 3 square into brackets then also open brackets x square minus 3 square close brackets then equals to 0 from here that is here now we have two possible cases. The first we have x square plus 3 square equals to 0, or we have x square minus 3 square equals to 0 here. That is solving on this side. This follows when we have a square plus b square. This same thing as a plus b i into brackets. Then open bracket a minus b i. That is what we have here. Follow this and becomes x plus 3 high into brackets. Then open bracket x minus 3 high close brackets. Then equals to 0 from here. And here also we have two cases. That is x plus 3 high equals to 0. Or we have x minus 3 high equals to 0 here and on this side this implies we have x equals to minus 3i here we have a complex solution and also here we have x equals to 3i which is also a complex solution here as this we have two complex solutions now then solving from the second case here as well what we have which is x squared minus 3 square equals to 0. Also, we apply difference of 2 squares. When we have a square minus b square, which is equals to a plus b, into brackets, and open brackets, a minus b. Like this. Here yeah, also, this becomes x plus 3, into brackets, then also open brackets, x minus 3, close brackets, which is equals to 0 from here. That is, also we have two cases, x plus 3 equals to 0, or we have x minus 3 equals to 0 here. And on this side, we have x equals to minus 3. Here we have a real solution. On this side as well, we have x equals to 3, also a real solution. That is, here we have two real solutions here, which implies altogether we have four solutions. 2 real and 2 complex and when we write it out you can say x1 equals to 3 x2 equals to minus 3 x3 equals to 3 high and x4 equals to minus 3 high so we have 2 real and 2 complex solutions then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is, we substitute 
the value of x into what we have here. Then when we solve the first value of x, x equals to 3, what we have becomes 3 over 3 times 3 over 3 is it equals to also here we have 3 over 3 times 3 over 3 and here 3 over 3 same thing as 1 then times also 1 is it equals to this side as well you can write as 1 times 1 that is here 1 times 1 is 1 which is equals to also 1 times 1 is 1 the left hand side now equals to the right hand side then S equals to 3 satisfies this given problem. Then also for x equals to minus 3. We substitute minus 3 here. This becomes minus 3 over 3 times minus 3 over 3. Is this equals to also 3 over minus 3 times 3 over minus 3? The minus 3 over 3, same thing as minus 1 times. Also, we have minus 1. Is it equals to 3 over minus 3? Also, minus 1 times minus 1. That is, minus times minus is plus, and 1 times 1, that's 1. And this is also equals to also minus times minus plus 1 times 1, that's 1. Left hand side also equals to right hand side. Hence, here, yeah. minus 3 satisfies this given problem. Then, also, we substitute 3 high and what we have becomes 3 high over 3 times 3 high over 3 is it equals to 3 over 3 high times 3 over 3 high then here yeah, 3 over 3 same thing as i times also i is it equals to this becomes 1 over high times here yeah, also we have 1 over high then i times i we have same thing multiplying that's i square is it equals to here yeah, 1 times 1 that's 1 over i times i i square um, we should note that i square same thing as minus 1 that this here yeah, we have minus 1 is it equals to also 1 over minus 1 that this here yeah, minus 1 is equals to 1 over minus 1 is also minus 1. At this left hand side also equals the right hand side. Hence here, 3 high also satisfies this given problem. Then also, we substitute x equals to minus 3 high. Then what we have here becomes minus 3 high over 3 times minus 3 high over 3. Is it equals to 3 over minus 3i times 3 over minus 3i? Then, yeah, minus 3 over 3, same thing as minus i times, also here we have minus i. Is it equals to, yeah, also 3 over minus 3i, same thing as 1 over minus i times also 1 over minus i. Then since minus times minus is plus and i times i that's i square then is it equals to here yeah, 1 times 1 1 over minus i times minus i that's also i square then i square here we have minus 1 and is it equals to also 1 over minus 1 and this is minus 1 which is equals to also here we have minus 1 left hand side equals to the right hand side hence here we conclude that Minus 3 high also satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.